JetBlue's revenues have bounced back from the troughs of COVID, but the pandemic's long tail has created an uncomfortable new normal on the expense side. In general, for the industry, revenues are back to 2019 levels, but costs are over 2019 levels by about 18 or 19 percent. We're operating in a very volatile environment. So JetBlue has a very large presence here in New York, and there are air traffic control challenges. So we've had to overinvest in hiring excess crew members and building flexibility into our planning process. Over time, we hope to wean some of those investments back as the operating environment around us stabilizes. So, I mean, to give you an example, um, we have about a, um, um, $100 million more of uh, reserve or standby pilots in 2023 than we had in 2019, just to fly the same schedule, because the infrastructure is still more brittle. And pilots' salaries are about to soar. New labor contracts are building in raises that will add significant labor costs to every airline's ledger. With a shortage of qualified pilots looming, their leverage should continue to grow. Pay is going up by 35-40%, which is insane. I've seen this movie before, and this is not sustainable, in my opinion. We've certainly seen, um, since uh, COVID, uh, um, you know, a lot more pilot attrition. Uh, we saw a lot of retirements during COVID, and that then created this kind of gap of, of pilots once uh, business returned. The pilot shortage has been an issue for years, and I do believe we are on a, I hate to use the term, crash course for um, you know, even bigger issues in the future. Nobody has problems hiring. It's retaining. That's the problem. The flight attendants are negotiating for a contract, and let's you know just give them a smaller increase. I just look at all these costs that are going on to the industry, and I don't see the revenue offset. The pressure is on Ursula Hurley's team to trim costs in an inflationary environment. We've committed to deliver 150 to $200 million in structural cost savings by the end of 2024. You know, it's a team effort, right? As CFO, however capable they are, can't do, it, can't do it all by themselves. You know, part of it is to kind of bring the whole organization uh, together. And I think, you know, Ursula's strength, because she's worked here for so long, is that she knows how to do that.